So we have today uh, myself, Chris Kelly. There's Chris Dim right there. Today we just saw, talked to, and then BB Shea is in for Biggie today. Mm-hmm. And we do have an announcement. We have Biggie on the phone with us, and we wanted to uh, make this announcement now. Uh, you know, remember, you know, every show when they have somebody going through something, mm-hmm. they say we want to be open and honest with you, as we always are. So we had a discussion, and I said, let's not do that let's not be <laughs> yeah, honest let's, 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 every other show every other show yeah, yeah. let's right. put makeup on this and cover it up right. right when um alex trebek sadly you know got prostate cancer or excuse me pancreatic cancer he goes on he said i want to be open and honest with you the fan so everyone came in together on something we're about to say and said we should be as open and honest as possible and i said well hold on now <laughs> Wait a minute. What do you mean <laughs> when you say open, open and, honest. and honest? But I was convinced by the end. All right, let's be open and honest about this. And I just said to Dave and Kristen, you know, I, I don't like doing these kinds of things because this is pretty serious. Biggie is not going to be with us for a while. He's on the phone now and he's going to, you know, he can talk about this, of course, but he's been struggling a lot lately and we have noticed it. And credit to Dave and Kristen. I said, you know, uh, we think Biggie needs some time away to deal with some personal and health-related issues that he's going through. So we'll bring him in here now. We uh, kid around and joke around a lot on this show, but he is our friend, Mm -hmm. and he is a really valued member of this program. So we'll just turn it over to him now. Biggie, you're going to be off the show here for a while to take care of your health issues. Yeah. Good good morning, first off, to all you guys. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I don't like talking about these things either. I much prefer to pretend that everything's fine, um, how I've lived my life. <laughs> um, but I'd say in the last year or so, just being honest, my weight has just gone out of control. I blame some on the pandemic of isolating myself away. I blame some on just getting older and... Much like many things, it's kind of like a sinking ship. Once the water starts coming in, it comes in faster than you expect. And I'd say definitely over the last couple months, I've just it's just things have gone out of control. I barely have any energy. I have enough energy to get up, to get to work, make it through work, and get home and get back in bed. And that's pretty much it. It's no, you know, it's no way to live. And, you know, those of us closest to you, of course, have noticed this. And yeah. uh, so, I'm, we're so I'm glad you're dealing with it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even from you guys, I mean, nobody really sees. I mean, it, it takes everything I have to walk 100 feet. And I know it's one of those things. And weight is such one of those things where it's like, well, quit being a fat ass. Mm-hmm. And it's not, when it really gets out of control, it's not that simple. And that's where I'm at. So much to, uh, to you guys coming to me. I mean, obviously, I knew you guys knew. But in my mind, you still think you're fooling everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when given the chance yesterday and everyone came to me, uh, it was a really, you know, it was a rock bottom moment, but a moment that I needed Um, because I just thought I was fooling everybody. And, you know, the night before, even last night, not last night, the night before, I literally was laying in bed at one o'clock in the morning because I can't even sleep right anymore. And... I was just like, I am just, I'm done. I was like, I need to get up to pee. I don't even want to get up to pee. I don't even want to get up to do anything anymore. Like, I just want to lay here and I just want to be done. Mm. And I'm, that, that's mentally where I was. So, of course, nobody knows this and it's hard to admit those kind of things because I was raised just to shut up and go on with life. You know, if you complain, you're not working enough. Mm -hmm. So... I'm going to step away for a little while. I'm not quite sure. Um, I have set up some appointments next week with some doctors. Obviously, you know, looking at my weight, the weight loss surgery is where I'd like to be to, but I am so big that I can't get the weight loss surgery. Right. And I mean, you've told us that in the past that you've thought about weight loss surgery, but you, you can't get it yet. And you've this time around, and you mentioned your age, of course, we're all getting older and, you have had trouble this time yeah. in trying to lose it because you've lost weight before, of course, but this yeah, is harder absolutely. now. Yeah, I, I have lost and gained weight my entire life. Mm-hmm. Um, this time's different because I don't physically know how the energy to do anything. And I mean, like I said, when I say 
you know, people, and it's great. Dave always says to me, I'll come, let's go on a walk. Mm -hmm. I physically cannot do that right now. I can't go walk. You know, it takes, if I got to get my dog outside, it's like a mission to Mars. Mm -hmm. Like I start having to prep myself to do that. And that's why it's not like a simple thing where it's like, well, just go walk around the block. I can't do that. Right. You know, and that's the level I'm at. So I'm meeting with obviously some doctors. I'm, you know, still having some issues with swelling. It could be weight related and things. I'm taking this time to work on myself, to figure out what I need to do, where I need to go. I might leave for a little while. I might go stay with my family for a little while. I've got to get myself off the rock bottom. And thanks to you guys, I now have the time to do that. Well, of course, we will do anything for you. And you can take as much time as you need. You know, you can, uh, we have everything here is, we have BB Shea right here. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to worry about us. And we just want you to, that's what we want you to do is go get the help you need. We're thrilled that you've now, we're able to admit, okay, it's a problem now that we just can't ignore anymore. And, uh, you know, we just hope the best for you and take as much time as you need. You know, it doesn't have to be two weeks or five weeks or it can be as long as you want it to be. Well, thank you. And that, and that's, that's what I need. I need some time to, to really step away and look at what I need to do because it's true. I mean, things spiral out of control and I know it's, you know, food is not drugs, but food is a weird thing because you need food to live, but you don't really know when you're like me, it, it, it becomes a coping mechanism. Mm-hmm. So I have to figure out basically how to figure everything out again, to figure out how to get moving again, to lose the weight and live a normal life where it's like still eat, but you know, still enjoy life. And a lot of my life has been wrapped around food. I mean, I love food. And I tell people this, like, I don't just like Chris Dem is a foodie. He, he likes eating good food. I love food. Mm -hmm. Like I love it. Mm -hmm. It's a whole different thing for somebody like me. Yeah, I know. And I mean, that's, it's, 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 I hear it in your voice, you know, it is such a difficult thing, such a battle. And, um, you know, you're not the first to, to go through absolutely. this. Absolutely. Millions of people go through this right. all, all the time and, and they wake up in the middle of the night, like, like you did the other night. And I was laying next to him mm-hmm. and, uh, mm-hmm. and he sits there and you have that moment and you're like, something's got to change. Right. I'm glad that you've come to this moment to finally say this. Something's got to change to the point where you can't just come into work every day. You've got to get medical help. You've got to get a program, a plan that will take some time. You'll have to fight a difficult yeah. fight, but you have the tools to do it. Yes. Yes. And I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful that we work for the company we do that, you know, a lot of companies would not step in and say anything. I'm grateful for you guys for saying something. And giving me the time, I'm glad that somebody like BB Shea is around, who's a superstar, mm-hmm. and can fill in and do what I need to do. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I, I'm just, I'm very, I'm very grateful. My family's very grateful um, because, of course, they don't see it; they're not here. Right. They're... And it's, yeah, and I mean, you guys see me the most, but it's, you know, I've, I've learned to control my environment, and that's what I need to get out of. I, I control how people see me, mm-hmm. and you know. It's finally got to the point where I, I, it's out of control. Okay. So, well, we just wish you nothing but luck and success. Of course, we can't wait to see you again. But forget about us, and don't. We're not going to bother you, and you don't have to worry about us. And just get the help you need, and get healthy, and then we welcome you back whenever that might be. Yes, yes. And I'll keep. And look, I'll still be around. You, you know, everyone can reach out to me. Uh-huh. I, I will. I'm not disappearing. I'm just going to take some time. Mm-hmm for myself and get things straight away so I can come back and annoy Chris Dem better than ever. Exactly. <laughs> Do you think that I, as your accountability buddy, am somewhat letting you down here? Do you think your accountability buddy, I mean, I, 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 I think I may have been uh, falling short on the job. Chris Dem is putting up an, a big drawing. He's given me well, an F for my accountability buddy status. <laughs> <laughs> this all falls on your hands, Kels. I have to say, I think this may have started when I suggested the thousand pound, thousand dollar weight loss <laughs> yeah, challenge. That's when it really started. <laughs> it all went downhill. <laughs> that was the beginning of a, a nasty spiral. Yeah. The beginning of the end. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, so. I um, I think I, I think I read the fine print wrong. I thought it was a race to a thousand. To a thousand pounds. <laughs> that's the problem. Oh yeah. Exactly. Good luck to you. And, and Biggie, don't do it alone. 
Right. I, I, you know, none, none of us know what you're going through, but this is not something you can do by yourself. You need, no. mm -hmm. you need help. You need professionals. You need people who can deal with this. Yeah, you and need support. And as, as Dave said, who have done this before. That's right. Support yeah. group. That's right. Millions of people. That's right. Yeah. You got to have a support group, uh, your family, whoever it may be, me, mm -hmm. whatever the case may be, you've got to. Yeah. You, you got to rely on people, and it's going to be hard as hell. Yeah. Oh, no question. There's no, there's no lie about it. I mean, this is not. Some... Yeah, I mean, change is hard. Big changes are even harder. Yeah, this is not a respite. I mean, this is this is work. No, it's it is. work. Well, and you know, I had to tell some you know friends and family obviously yesterday, and that was tough. But you know, and there is everyone wants to help, and and I'm probably going to go spend some time with my family. I mean, they're 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 great, but they're also hard enough on me that. You know, mm -hmm. they will keep me on the right track. So exactly, I'll probably go spend some time down there with okay. them. Get the help you need. Mm -hmm. Don't do it alone. Reach out for any support you need from us, and we'll be here for you. Well, thank you guys very much. I, I seriously, I really, I don't know what I'd do without you guys. Um, your support. As there's a deep drive in the left field by Cassiano. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh God, no, no! <laughs> that guy again. Thank you, uh, thank you, Biggie. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not going to be here for several weeks. Okay, but we'll miss him. And good luck to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Hey, Biggie. Okay. I love you. Thank All you. right, there. too. There he goes. There goes Biggie. Off on a journey, hopefully, to real help. Yeah. And we're hoping yeah. that's the first step. That's the idea. Difficult to take that first step and admit things sure. like that's embarrassing. Um, and sometimes you need a little nudge. Yeah. So that's what we're, that's where we are. So B.B. Shea is going to be yeah. here now for several weeks. And we thank you, B.B. Shea. Absolutely. Of course. Of yeah. course. Now, what we're going to need you to do is cut that segment way, way down. <laughs> I need it. Sure. First thing. I want it edited down. Take all the emotion out. <laughs> Try to make Kelly look better. <laughs> if you can make me look like I care yeah. a lot more, you know, that would be make me sound caring. That's what we need from I'll you. Allow some uh, crowd cheering for Something. you. It wouldn't yeah. hurt. Something. That's not a bad idea. Exactly. Yeah. That's what that's what Biggie does yeah. for me. You, you got know? the idea. We're, so. we're cutting that. Yes. Way, way yes. back. We do have fun on the show, but yeah. you know, Big, Biggie needs help. That is serious. That is absolutely and serious. And that's okay. People it is. Help. It's okay course, to ask for of help. Course, of course. And yesterday, we sort of had that happen, and today, he's now off the show for the next several weeks. That's where we are but here. He's right. The team around, I mean, everyone mm -hmm. in this building is, is on the same page. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Right.